Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Do you know what today is? <laughs> today is July 23rd, <laughs> 2023, but it's also 100 days until Halloween. Yay, I'm so excited. And I just happened to know that because yesterday I seen Neva for Manic Mama Musings <laughs> uh, post on Facebook, I believe, that uh, today was the start of the 100 days of Halloween, till Halloween. And she's going to do like a little collab, I guess, uh, where she's either working on a Halloween related project and watching Halloween, well, not horror, Halloween, but horror movies and uh, like updating every day, you know. <laughs> so I wanted to tag along as much other people tag along too. And I'm going to link them all down below if I can find them all. <laughs> um, but anyways, I wanted to tag along. So what I'm going to do is I don't know if you've been here the last two Halloweens, the past two Halloweens, two Halloweens ago. Was it 2021? I think it was the right year. Uh, we all did. It was Neva and a bunch of other people. Uh, did a scrap blanket where you start with a square. And the square was a spider square, which I will link the pattern down below for it. I can't remember what it is, but I'll find it and link it below. But this square right here, it's like a granny square with a spider web on it. It's very cool. I like it a lot. And then we built off of that. And so I, we did that in Vlogtober. I think it was 2021, and then last year I pulled my little blanket out because it was pretty small, you know. I used scrap balls uh, that I did it a swap with. <laughs> uh, I added more to it, so it got bigger, but it's still not like as big as I want. I didn't measure it, but it's it's about it's a little bit shorter than my wingspan, and I'm five eight, so and it's it's roughly a square, but mine's kind of ripply. But you know what? I don't care because it's just a blanket that we use at home time on the couch, so it doesn't need to be perfect. But anyways, so I did take a video clip to show you better. I met, randomly made some spiders. There's a black widow. <laughs> and some eyeballs to put on mine. I actually entered this in the fair. Uh, I can't remember if it's 21 or 22. I think it was last year, 22. And I won <laughs> for on it. So that was pretty cool. But anyways, I, I left it open. Maybe it was 21. I don't know. But I left the stitch open. And I remembered that I used an eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter. It's because I knew I wanted to make it bigger. I want to make it really big. <laughs> like, my goal is to make it, like, maybe, like, a queen size blanket. Like, a big one that me and Jessie and June now. Because when I started this, I was pregnant with her. Um, you can all snuggle under and watch Hocus Pocus, you know. So, uh, I left it open and I ended with this red color. Let me find it. It's, like, cherry red, maybe. Red heart cherry red. So, when I pulled it out, I attached a yarn to it. And it's, it actually was really close to this one. I don't know what that one is. Uh, this one is Karen one pound. <laughs> but I attached it today. And I put in a clip of me working on it. And I did my first day of 100 days of Halloween. So I'm going to try to work on this every day. Now I might not be able to put a lot of yarn in it every day. Because I do have an 18 month old and a 7 year old. And a busy life. So but I'm going to try to work on it every day leading up to Halloween. So I'll, you'll also be seeing a lot <laughs> on the channel and a lot during Vlogtober in a few months because <laughs> I'm definitely doing Vlogtober. But hopefully by Halloween this year, close to Halloween, it'll be a lot bigger so that we can use it to watch movies. <laughs> now in the past, I just um, cut off my yarn and knotted it and then I did weave them in. There's some ends on here that I didn't weave in last year. I just put it away. But uh, this year, I've since learned how to do the Russian join. <laughs> so... Um, I am going to start doing it that way. You can actually kind of see it right there, but they are really sturdy joins. Like you can pull and pull and pull and it won't come out. Um, so I'm going to do the Russian joins from now on. That way I don't have ends to weave in. But I do have a few from last year that I got to uh, weave in. But a lot of this yarn is just scrap yarn that I've had over the last two years. And also a lot of it is from my swaps that I do with my yarny friend named Jen. We do Halloween swap every year. I think for the past three years, this will be the fourth year. Or the third year. I don't know. <laughs> We've been doing it for a while. But so a lot of it's yarn from her and a lot of it's yarn just from my stash. Um, yeah. So as it gets bigger, I'll make more eyeballs and more spiders to put on it. And maybe something else. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So I just wanted to show you my project and explain a little bit. The rest of the videos may, if I do it every day, the videos may be super short. Like it may just be clips of me working on it and then me talking about a movie or something. But I can't promise that I'm going to put out a Halloween <laughs> related video every single day. If I can't, I will still make clips. And I'll just 
glob them together. <laughs> so one day it might be, um, you know, multiple days worth of growth on the blanket. But um, I would like to try to do it every day, but we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm excited. If you want to join along, definitely do. Because there's never too many people working together on projects. It's fun. And you can, you don't have to work on like a blanket like this. You can make just anything uh, halloween -y or just a scrap thing. Or you could just come here and talk about horror movies that you're watching. So, that's my blanket. <laughs> the horror movie that I watched, I actually watched it. I watched it yesterday with Devin, but then I, I watched it a couple of days ago by myself. And then I was talking about it, and then Devin wanted to watch it, so we watched it again. And it's a movie called Smile. <laughs> I had been wanting to see it ever since it came out. And I kept trying to wait for a time where me and Devin can watch it together. And it's just hard for us to watch horror movies together because usually if we're together in the living room, the kids are in there. But we just happened to have, Jessie was at my sister's and June, you know, she's too little to pay attention to the TV. Um, so we watched it. But it's called Smile and we watched it on Paramount Plus, which is a paid subscription. But um, and it was really good. I liked it a lot. I, when I remember seeing the commercials for it when it first came out. I felt like it might be kind of cheesy, like horror movie, but it ended up being really good. I liked it a lot. I didn't like the way it ended, but I did like the whole movie. It was creepy. It was just like the right amount of creepiness. And, um, like I wasn't scared to watch it by myself. <laughs> Some movies I'm kind of scared to watch by myself, but I watched it by myself a few nights ago when, I think it was when Devin took the kids to his dad's or something, or it might've been when he went fishing and June was napping. <laughs> I, uh, I watched it by myself and I wasn't scared at all, so it's pretty good. So on a scale of like one to five, I think I'd rate it a four, but that's only because I didn't like the way it ended. <laughs> but it was really good. It kept me um, into it. It had, has a little bit of gore, but not like a ridiculous amount. And it's spooky and it's one of those movies where you kind of have an idea what's going on and then, then it twists a little at the end. Um, so yeah, I recommend it. Four to five recommend <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to try to make a list of the movies so that I can rate them. I like making lists. <laughs> I think I'd be really good at, like, or I think I would enjoy bullet journaling where you, like, where people keep notes of, you know, like, I've seen where people do it with books. They keep, like, a list of the books they watch and they rate them. <laughs> and I think I might do that with movies. Um, I did that once when me and Terry and, uh, Lee and Heather, a bunch of other, other, others, other of us <laughs> did a collaboration I think in 2021 I think it was also the year I was pregnant <laughs> but it was moving stitch and I, I rated them I even made like a little placard with stars on it <laughs> but uh maybe I'll do that this time who knows maybe I'll do jack-o'-lanterns maybe I'll rate it one out of five jack-o'-lanterns and this was four jack-o'-lanterns <laughs> anyways I'm blabbing now but this is the first video it's allowed to be long the rest of them might be shorter and who knows but anyways if you want to join lawn just do it if you don't want to make videos like if you don't make videos you can still join along in our comments and leave comments about what you're working on and about movies you watched and stuff or the facebook groups we almost all have facebook groups or instagram or emails you know however you want to tell me about it tell me about it and because i'd love to know <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and i'll see you guys maybe tomorrow for the what 99 days until halloween um and i have to watch another horror movie <laughs> bye guys